and the SCP lore. There are more than 30 SCP-001 proposals, which serve to mask the real one. Some of them attempt to explain the existence and discovery of other anomalies, while others talk about how the world will end. Regardless of their purpose, SCP-001 proposals are some of the best written articles on the SCP Wiki. In this SCP exploration episode, we present our list of the top 5 SCP-001 proposals. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of our upcoming exploring SCP videos, and very soon we are exploring the identity of one of the most famous SCPs in the wiki. Number 5. SCP-001 A Sheaf of Papers Object Class Keter SCP-001 is a simple sheaf of papers stapled together in the top left corner. The top sheet reads simply, Confidential Report on Special Items, Classified. The number of subsequent papers stapled to this conveying sheet varies in time. The origin of the papers is unknown. Every time a person opens the sheaf of papers, they will contain the description of a new unknown until that time anomaly. In the first reported usage of SCP-001, an unknown person opened the papers which contained a detailed explanation on SCP-002, The Living Room, which we explored in our Top 5 Creepiest SCPs video. Shortly after, SCP-002 was discovered. On another occasion, the same individual, looking for the original document on 002, opened the sheaf of papers, only to find a documentation on SCP-003, Biological Motherboard. Thinking he opened a wrong paper, he closed the sheaf of papers and later opened it again, this time reading about SCP-004, the 12 rusty keys and the door. And in a moment of panic he immediately closed and opened it again. This time the papers described SCP-005, the skeleton key. All of these anomalies were soon discovered. And sufficient research exists concerning the correlation between SCP-001 and all other known items. However, it has been established that every event regarding the discovery of a new SCP item has followed a report on the same item appearing beneath the cover sheet of SCP-001. The current administration regards this coincidence as proof of causal connection. At this time, it is irrelevant to the Foundation whether the sheaf of papers creates the new anomalies or simply describes them as no new SCPs appear without opening SCP-001. Arguments in favor of opening and closing SCP-001 as a warning system have not persuaded the current administration, which has decided not to repeat the mistakes of the past and classify SCP-001 as a highly dangerous Keter class object. Number 4. SCP-001-36 Object Class Euclid SCP-001 is a group of 36 individuals designated SCP-001-1-36. Subjects are diverse in terms of ethnicity, gender, age, or religion. SCP-001 subjects display no anomalous properties of their own. However, any anomalous entity or property brought into close proximity with an SCP-001 subject will be greatly modified from its original properties. Most often, this will result in a lessening or total nullification of anomalous properties. All these effects are instantaneous. The area of these effects will expand when multiple SCP-001 subjects are brought together. All subjects seem to be instinctively aware of information regarding other SCP-001 subjects, generally the total number of the group and details of between 1 and 3 individuals. This knowledge is vague, making locating uncontained subjects difficult. The death of an SCP-001 subject will result in the manifestation of multiple anomalous entities and phenomena in the area. These manifestations usually cause a lot of casualties and damage. Contained SCP-001 subjects have claimed that this is a result of the deceased individual's absence, quote, letting things through, end quote, and that further events will be more severe as time progresses. In addition, 
contained subjects have claimed that any deceased individuals will be replaced by a newborn bearing the same properties, however no such individuals have yet been located. We learn more about the 36 mysterious individuals, however, from a message sent by the group of interest called the Horizon Initiative. In the message, it is written that our world is dying and that only the 36 can save it. All SCP anomalies are called symptoms of a chronic disease that our world is suffering from. And it is claimed that containing the anomalies doesn't help fix the problem, but merely disguises the symptoms. And it is requested that the Foundation releases all anomalies and leaves the world vulnerable and frees all 36 members. It is said that the individuals, which have already neutralized anomalies on their own, will then come together and cleanse the world of all anomalies, once and for all. But only after the Foundation releases all SCPs. In the message, this is called an impossible request, and rightly so, because the SCP Foundation would probably never willingly release all SCPs. Just watch our top 5 apocalyptic SCPs video to see what would happen. But should the SCP agency fall or be overrun at some point, we can always hope that the 36 individuals are telling the truth and will rid us of all anomalies. Number 3 SCP-001 The Lock Object Class Safe SCP-001 is a smooth black onyx gemstone with a white pattern. Wrapped around its exterior, encompassing its equator and both poles, is a complex and layered fractal ornament of gold metal. The gold is now usually agreed to be the lower or south pole of the object, but with increasing latitude the pattern becomes progressively more complicated. Near the north pole, also called the lock or singularity, the pattern complexity progresses beyond the capability of optical or electrobeam microscopes to resolve. The gemstone continuously emits a small quantity of thermal radiation in the microwave range. As a result, the gold ornament is warm to the touch. The white areas emit a little more radiation than the black onyx areas. Other than this, SCP-001 is totally inert. It is invisible to all forms of electromagnetic and hard radiation, and so far indestructible. Its composition is guessed from visual inspection, since the taking of samples for chemical analysis has proven impossible. The following experiments have thus far failed to open SCP-001. Conventional lockpicking, brute force assault, heating to 5000 degrees Celsius or 9000 degrees Fahrenheit, an industrial cutting laser, corrosive acids, and a 15 kiloton atomic warhead at point blank. SCP-001 was discovered by a Scottish traveler, Sir Edwin Young, in an ancient temple in Mesopotamia during the 17th century. More than a century later, his ancestors gave up his belongings to the Scottish National Museum. From one of the sketches in his journal, made at the place of discovery, museum experts managed to decipher an incantation or a spell of containment. In 2003, Foundation personnel secured SCP-001 after realizing that its white patterns resembled the microwave background radiation, a pattern of electromagnetic waves left over from the Big Bang that encompassed the entire universe. Young's journal included several detailed sketches of SCP-001, including an object resembling a key. And despite the Foundation's efforts to locate the key, its whereabouts are still unknown. This leaves us wondering what exactly is hidden inside and whether it has any connection with the mysterious Big Bang, which we still know very little about. Number 2. SCP-001 – The Factory Object Class – Unknown The Factory, unlike other SCP entries, doesn't have its own entry in the SCP Wiki. Instead we learn about its existence from the words of 051 explaining it to a Foundation researcher who went a little too deep into SCP-001. The factory was founded in the 1830s by an individual named James Anderson. It was made to be the ultimate factory with massive proportions. Workers would live and work there and never leave. The factory produced everything, 
clothes, food, tools, weapons. However, the massive industry was built on the terrifying reality of how the factory operated. People would work 16 hours, 6 days per week. Sick and injured people were not taken care of and were forced to continue to work. It took 40 years for a worker to escape. Eventually, the president was informed of the horrifying conditions in the factory and a team of 150 people including all 05 members was dispatched. It took them a week to clean out the whole place. During that time, they were horrified to discover that people were being mutilated and tortured. People were used for experiments, including sewing arms and legs onto their body, and some people were combined with animals. Many of these creatures barely resembled humans. The owner, Anderson, was found and was executed, but left all the way to the end, happy that his factory would live on. While clearing the place, the now called O5 Council discovered their very first anomalies. A toy gun that shoots real bullets, a yo-yo that would flay the skin from anyone it touched, hammers that only worked on human flesh, and so on. The 13 gathered together to discuss what to do with the factory and its anomalous inventions. They decided to make the best use of them and build an entire city around the factory, called Site Alpha, which was also the SCP Foundation's first headquarters. However, several decades later, a race of creatures called fairies waged a war on the Foundation. The O5 were on the brink of total defeat when the storyteller was approached by what seemed to resemble Mr. Anderson, who offered to help him win the war but would require a sacrifice. O5-1 reluctantly agreed and the Foundation ended up destroying the fairies. After that, the factory was closed and the Foundation moved its headquarters. Ever since, the SCP Foundation kindly provides the factory with the bodies of D-Class, agents and even researchers as agreed upon with James Anderson. Despite the offerings, the Foundation still discovers anomalies created by the factory now and then. And so bodies keep getting sent, with the hope of at least partially containing the endless supply of anomalous items the horrifying factory has to offer. Number 1. SCP-001 The Scarlet King Object Class Keter The ultimate villain of the SCP Foundation, featured in many stories and SCP entries, the Scarlet King is a multi-dimensional ancient demigod attempting to enter our dimension for more than 300 years in an attempt to destroy existence itself. SCP-001's physical and mental properties are unknown to the Foundation. Nevertheless, it continues to assert a strong influence on a number of individuals and events in our world. References in art and oral tradition to SCP-001 appear across a wide variety of human and non-human cultures, including in communities which have never had any contact with one another. Common descriptions within these traditions are a red creature of immense size, usually wearing a golden crown or other headdress, signifying royalty. Although the names ascribed to SCP-001 vary, the majority contain two elements, a word signifying royalty and the color red. Most Foundation personnel possess no knowledge of the entity. Level 4 personnel are informed that SCP-2317, an entity which we explored in our Top 5 Apocalyptic SCPs video, is in fact SCP-001. However, according to the best documented theory, SCP-2317 is in fact one of the six children of the Scarlet King, which are to aid him in destroying our world. A second child of the Scarlet King is thought to be the well-known SCP-682, which explains its indestructibleness. And the seventh child of the Scarlet King, which is not yet born, is theorized to be the one which along with all of its brothers and the Scarlet King himself will put an end to our world. A variety of groups dedicated to bringing the Scarlet King into our world have existed over the years, the most recent of which was destroyed in January 2018. An interview with the group's leader suggests that the Scarlet King isn't a real physical entity but rather an idea. Whether a multi-dimensional world destroyer or an abstract idea, 
the Scarlet King is definitely one of the most important villains in the SCP universe. And it is speculated that should this immense entity enter our reality or should this abstract idea spread across humanity, an XK-class end-of-world scenario would occur. This without a doubt makes the Scarlet King one of the best SCP-001 proposals. This concludes our list of the best entries for a first SCP. So which SCP-001 proposal was your favorite? What do you think? What is the first SCP? Please make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this type of content as we have many more interesting videos coming up in our SCP exploring series such as SCP theories on some of the scariest SCP creatures and more top 5 SCP videos. And as always, we will see you in the next video.